What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Popamin Cordless Brushless Polisher. So let's jump into the video. So if you've seen the other video of me unboxing the Popamin Cordless Polisher, then you know what came with it. You know, it comes with a battery and a lot of other accessories. So we're gonna go through some of those accessories today, see how this performs, vibration, battery life, um, and some other things. So let's jump into it. All right, so you may be asking, does having a cordless polisher actually make a difference? I think it does. Here is a corded one. And as you can see, dealing with the corded one, well, presents that one problem of it being corded. With this, you have the freedom to go anywhere and do anything and don't have to worry about plugging it up or having a plug or extension cord or having this long cable draped over your shoulders or anything like that. So that's one of the advantages of having a cordless polisher. So if you see my unboxing, do you know that the kit comes with different foam heads and this one is gonna be the black one that we're gonna use for putting on the wax. So this uses Velcro just like most other polishers, if not all of them. So the padding sticks very well to the hook and loop or Velcro, as some people may know it. So this is a six inch foaming pad with a six inch backing plate or pad. So what we're gonna do now is try it out on the hood of the car. I'm using my turtle wax to the max wax. Just gonna do three dobs. Spread it around. It has one through six settings. So we're just going to start at like a four. All right, so here we go. All right, so this is really nice. This has good balance and I'm using the handle up here. It comes with two other handle configurations a D handle and then like the side handle. But with this alone, really good. The weight feels balanced. It moves with little vibration. Trigger's good. It also has a locking feature too, which I forgot to use on that one, but I'll use it on the next panel that we polish. So far, this is good. So I'm gonna put on the D handle and see how that operates the machine. We have our D-ring. To install that, you have to use the included Allen wrench. You probably already have an Allen wrench, but it comes with one that fits this bolt here. There's a screw on the left side as well as the right side. So we take those out and then you put on your D-handle. It has grooves so you can maintain a certain angle like that, or if you want it more at an angle, that's straight up. So I'm gonna use it at a straight up and down angle. So once you have that set, put your ring, uh, put your bolts back in there. You wanna make sure that you tighten it. You don't have to over tighten it, but you definitely don't want it to come off while you're polishing it. All right, so we have that on there. It's nice and secure. So let's try it out. All right, so we have our D handle, and I think it's gonna be good, especially on the side panels. You can maybe get a little bit more leverage or a little bit more control over it. So let's apply a little bit more wax here. All right, here we go. Lock it. Now you don't have to worry about holding the trigger. All right, you just click it to unlock it. There you have it. 
The weight of this is really nice. It's really balanced. I thought it would be very heavy with this big battery on the back of it, but it balances it out really, really, really nice. And you can kind of see, you gotta see right there how balanced it is. This is where your hand would be and it's balanced. If it was out of balance, it'd probably go like that. And then you have some fatigue in your hand, but just sitting it in your hand, it's nice and balanced. Not too heavy, feels really, really good. Handle, eh, that's a personal preference, of course. I actually like it holding it like this, but this handle is not too bad. So let's wipe this down, then we're gonna try the other handle that comes with it. Now that we've used the D handle, we're gonna go ahead and use the side grip. Now you can put it on either side. I am right-handed, but I like to use, hold a machine with my right hand and then use the grip with my left. Why I have this off, if you ever want to change the back plane, this is a cover and you take this cover off, this is where you can lock the plate, that way you can take it off. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the left side here. This is made of plastic, so it's pretty light, but it, I think it, it will get the job done. Don't have too much to worry about on that. All right, so let's try it with the side grip. All right, so this does have a battery indicator. When I first started, I had three lights. Now, I still have three lights. So battery is holding up. All right, so I have had it at four. I'm gonna go up to six, and let's just see what the max can do. So at six, I do get more vibration, which is kind of expected. I mean, you are going at a higher speed, but it's not too bad. I mean, fingers not tingling. Not, I, granted, I haven't done it that long, but I think I like four better, especially for applying wax. You don't really need that much power. And as far as the side handle, uh, I don't know. I think that might be giving off a lot of vibration as well. Because when I did this, it was no vibration, just perfect. Same thing with the handle. So I'm going to say I don't like the side handle for me. But once again, that's a personal preference, as always. When I use this, I'm going to use just the front little handle right here. All right, so I want to once again give a big thanks out to Popamin for sending me this product. I gave it my honest review. I actually like this, and this is definitely in my arsenal. I can't see going to a corded once you have to have cordless. So this is a review of the Popamin Cordless Brushless 20 volt Battery Cordless Polisher. I have a link to it down in the description so you can get yourself one. And if you want to see more videos like this, I have some over here. Remember, do it until you can. Until next time, I'm out.